Let's learn how clipper circuits can be simulated with LT spice. A clipper circuit is the circuit that limit or prevent the output waveform from exceeding a certain level. So in this video I will cover the following subjects. Series positive and negative clipper, shunt or parallel positive and negative clipper, and positive negative biased diode clipping. So let us draw a positive and negative series clipper circuit. Take a voltage source. Let us draw two schematic circuits. One for positive clipper and another for the negative clipper circuit. Put a series diode for each voltage sources. For this one, to get the positive ripple, change the direction of the diode. And then add resistors. Now let us connect the components and add grounds and finally give values right click on voltage source enter 10 for amplitude and 100 for frequency click ok right click on diode pick new diode then select the type of your diode i will select a silicon diode with a breakdown voltage of 75 Click OK. Then right click on resistor and enter 1K for resistor. Click OK. Similarly, enter the same values for this circuit. So now let us simulate our circuit. Enter 0 0.05 for stop time. Click OK. Click on the running guy. Let us see the output waveform of the lift circuit corresponding to the input waveform. Following the convention law for positive half cycle, current flows from positive terminal to the negative terminal. So the diode become on and allow current flow through the resistor. But during negative half portion, current will flow into opposite direction. But the diode will be in reverse bias mode. So it acts as open circuit. And all the applied voltage drops across the diode. Therefore, as an output waveform, we only get the positive half cycle. And the negative half cycle is rejected. So it is called a negative series clipper circuit. It clips the negative half cycle. If you look at the positive peak voltage of the output waveform, it is about 9.3 volt. But the peak voltage of the input waveform is 10 volt. So we have a voltage drop about 0.7 volt across the diode. Now let us look at the waveform of the right circuit. This is the input waveform similar to the left circuit. And this is the output waveform. During positive half cycle, the current flow from positive to negative terminal. So the diode is now opposite and it is in reverse bias mode. So it blocks the current and diode act as open circuit. But during negative half cycle, the current will be able to flow. So diode will be on for the negative half cycle. And we can say that since the current blocked for the positive half cycle, and passed for the negative half cycle, so it is called positive series clipper circuit. 
because the output voltage is clipped only for the positive half cycle. So this kind of circuits are also called as half wave rectifier circuit, as we discussed in the previous videos. Now let us move to shunt or parallel clipper circuits. Notice that this time the diode is parallel to the input voltage source and resistor is in series. Connect all components then give values the same as the series clipper circuit. Now let us run the circuit and see the waveform. As you can notice, during positive half cycle, diode is forward bias, and the diode will get turned on, and the voltage drop of a silicon diode is 0.7 volt. So during positive half cycle, the output voltage will be 0.7 volt, but during negative half cycle this diode will be in reverse bias mode so it acts as open circuit and the output voltage will be the same as input voltage so now we can say that it is a parallel positive clipper circuit to get shun negative clipper circuit just reverse the direction of the diode now let us run the circuit then draw the input and output waveforms. Now if we look at the positive half cycle, the output voltage is the same as input voltage because the diode is now in opposite direction and it will act as an open circuit. And during negative half cycle, the diode is forward bias. So the output voltage is clipped to minus 0 0.7 volt. Since the diode limits the negative half cycle of the input voltage, it is therefore called as shunt negative clipper circuit. Now let us look at biased diode clipper circuit. To get diode clipping circuits for the output voltage waveform at different levels, we need to add a bias voltage series with the diode. Rotate it to get the same convention as the diode and set bias level at 5 volt. Now let us run the circuit and plot the waveform. As you can see now, the negative half cycle of the output waveform is held to a level of minus V bias minus 0 0.7. That is minus 5 volt plus minus 0 0.7 volt. And it is about minus 5 0.7 volt. Since the circuit is clipped at the negative half cycle, so it is called a negative bias diode clipping. For the positive bias diode clipping, just reverse the direction of both diode and bias voltage. Let us run our circuit and get the waveform. Now you can notice that the output positive half cycle is clipped to a level of V bias plus 0 0.7 volt. 5 plus 0 0.7, that is around 5.7 volt. And at the negative half cycle, the output voltage is similar to input voltage. Since diode gets off and it acts as open circuit, and the output voltage will be similar to input voltage, as we discussed before. So this time it is called positive bias diode clipping circuit. If we add one more diode and a bias voltage parallel to this, but in reverse direction, the output voltage will be clipped 
from both half cycle. Let us do it. Now you can see that the output waveform is clipped from both sides, positive and negative half cycle. You can do that for a circuit without biasing voltage, or you can remove these bias voltages, uh, and you can give a different values for biasing voltages to get different clipping levels. The aim of using bias voltage is controlling the clipping output voltage, but in this case we will need an extra battery that can be a disadvantage. There is also an easy way to get rid of this battery, that is using Zener diodes, and we will talk about that in the next video. So see you in the next video.